In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this flanged edge. Now, I call it a double binding because it kind of looks like it's been doubled up and it's super, super easy. Let me show you how. This is the project I'm going to be attaching my flange binding to. And I've decided to go with this stripy red and a solid red. The red material is going to be the inside flange and it's going to measure in at two inches. So we're going to cut this strip two inches. Now this stripy material, I'm going to cut it one and three eighths. So for my project, I have two pieces at two inches here and two pieces at one and three eighths. Now I'm going to join these two pieces together. So I create two long strips. So I'm just going to sew a diagonal line across on the both of them and do the same thing for the other strips. Now you're going to place your two strips right sides together. So you've got both the fabric pieces, the pretty sides facing together, and you're going to sew all the way down a quarter of an inch. And as you guys know, I love to use my quarter of the inch foot with guide. So sew all them down, making sure that you're keeping your raw edges lined up next to each other. Now, as you can see, I am starting to press this to one side and I'm choosing to do it on the longer side rather than the shorter side. So I'm pressing towards the dark side. Now, this is exactly the moment where you're going to go, oh, that's how they do it. Seriously, it's so simple. You are just going to fold this in half. And as you can see, you have a little bit of red and a little bit of the stripey. How easy is that? So we're going to go and press this all down. So this is how we're going to attach it. So this is the back of my project and the solid red is going to be facing on the back. And this is the part we are going to then flip over like so. So make sure you're attaching the correct part, the solid part, the part that doesn't show the two sections. So as you can see, the stripey is on the outside and the red is on the inside. Now, I've already created a video on how to attach binding together. So I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video. So we're just going to start attaching the binding. So let me know in the comments down below, is this a lot more easier than you thought it was going to be? So all that's left to do is to flip it over and you can use Wonder Clips if you like. And I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine and show you what to do next. Now I'm going to take this center line of this binding and I am going to stitch in the ditch. And I'm going to go all the way around. And this is what the end result looks like. So I am beyond happy with these results. I think it looks amazing and it was so easy to do. I didn't realise how easy it was. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss seeing me next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.